Yeah, uh, good morning. Yeah, I think also the numbers are actually better than expected. And I think also there is, uh, um, considering what's been going on in, in the quarter in terms of, uh, of course, also the volatility and the fact that so the, um, the rates in Hong Kong, so they've been only moving sl slightly higher. I think also those numbers are quite reassuring, especially versus, um, if you want, so the broader sector, so, which has been a story of uh, a little bit of miss in terms of cost. As they say the cost are going to be higher than 10.7 billion expected for the year, but at the same time, so they're reaffirming this 10% return on equity target. And also, I think also on the capital side, it is a bit because, of course, so we all knew what happened with HSBC, where capital so went backwards. And I think it also is it, there's two um, elements which are very valid. So the fact that so they expect loan loss rate to be between 30 and 35 basis points for this year, and also they want to operate in a 13 to 14 percent CT1 capital tag, which I think also is quite reassuring for um, for the market. Okay, so the bank uh, has already flagged the lockdown impact in Hong Kong, uh, that Hong Kong would struggle to retain its position as Asia's top financial center. Uh, this is as long as China persists with its zero COVID policy. Uh, this is similar to uh, what we were hearing from HSBC, uh, although they're very bullish on Hong Kong. Uh, how does, is the picture any different for Standard Chartered, given that it is also a very big revenue center for the bank? Yeah, exactly. So Standard Chartered, you need to think 80% of the revenue essentially is from Asia, and they are actually even pivoting further to Asia. I think also they were mentioned is RWA's optimization, which makes sense because at the moment they're in 59 countries. They transition away from seven countries, and they refocus in on some country in Africa and Middle East, for example, Egypt and Saudi Arabia. So I think uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, the, between the lines, I sound a, um, say, moderately bullish outlook. Um, and that's, I think, also is more in, in the medium term. Of course, as, as we all be watching the PMI number out of China for April, um, coming in a, the next few days, uh, because that's all we know that uh, this lockdown has been an impact on consumption. But at the same time, also, I think also Standard Charter is affirming a, uh, what I would describe as a bullish view over the medium term. Yeah. They think so the authorities have the capacity to uh, say so. Philippe, what I'm most uh, curious to uh, understand here is the commentary 